do you love your partner, but sometimes you want to put a pillow over their head because they're snoring so loudly and they're keeping you up all night? Is that too dark for YouTube? Well, put the pillow down, take a deep breath, and watch this video because they might have a solution for you. It's the new earbuds from Soundcore, the A20, or they're also called the Sleep A20. There are a lot of differences between these and regular earbuds. There's also a lot of extra features that are available in the app. In this video, I'll go over all the features that work, the ones that I thought didn't work, and how to access all the features. These are wireless earbuds specifically designed to be worn when sleeping. They are covered in a very comfortable material and are flat, so they are mostly uh, going to sit recessed in the ears. The center is hard, but the rest of the earbud material is very soft, cushiony uh, material. And unlike most earbuds that stick out of your ear a ton, these have a very low profile and can be worn even if you are a side sleeper. Who are these made for? They are marketed for someone who sleeps with a snoring partner. But these would be great for a lot of other people. Do you live by a noisy active road? Are you in an apartment with noisy neighbors? These buds can mask those sounds. Are you currently using a sound machine? This would replace that. Think how much easier it would be to travel with uh, these buds instead of a sound machine. So basically these buds for anyone who has difficulty falling asleep or staying asleep uh, through the night due to a noisy environment. So what's in the box? You're going to get four seal tips. I took out the uh, smalls here and they do come with mediums. Then you're going to get three breathable tips. So these are more comfortable supposedly and uh, but they're not as soundproof as the these buds here. Then you're going to get three sets of wings. Two of them are on the buds obviously. And then you're going to get an installation guide of how to put the uh, tips on here. So you also get a USB-A to USB-C charging cable. It's a little short, so that might be a concern for some people. And then you also get the case here. And you get a wearing guard on how to uh, and put the earbuds in the ear and how they're supposed to fit. So you can see here there's a lot of adjustments to make. So it's going to take you like a few weeks just to make sure that these things don't fit well. But the other thing is with all these adjustments, I'm pretty sure you're going to find some combination that works. Uh, now keep in mind, one ear might have a different size than the other. So uh, if one feels uncomfortable, again, try to just change the size on one ear and see if that makes a difference. Just for an example, my left ear was a little sore when I woke up uh, one morning. So I tried a, a larger wing fit thinking that I needed kind of more cushion. But with the more cushion here comes a bigger tip. And this didn't help at all. So what I needed was actually a smaller wing here and then a smaller tip. And then this sat a little deeper in the ear canal and then was more recessed. So again, I'm a side sleeper. So then this fit in deeper and then wasn't causing any soreness. So again, fool around with the different uh, sizes here and see which one works uh, best for you. And these only come in uh, one color, which is beige. So hopefully you like that. Uh, they're not supposed to be kind of a stylish uh, statement here because you are wearing these uh, while you're sleeping. Now the case is a little large. This is the Samsung Buds FE. I, all the Samsung cases are the same size, but I just did a recent uh, review on this, so I'll put that in the description if you are interested in these. But you can see the definite size difference there. And, you know, over here. And this is the Buds Ultra Open earbuds. So this case is a little smaller than the usual Bose earbuds uh, case, but I just wanted to show you here. Even that is, you know, still a pretty big size difference there. And you know, the thickness is about the same, but you can see the size difference. So this is definitely still pocketable, but you know, it's getting to a size that's a little bit big. Uh, I wouldn't think people are gonna be walking around with this too much. Uh, mostly this is a concern if you're traveling and you know, this I think for traveling will be uh, just fine for you to put away and uh, carry with you. Much smaller than any kind of sound machine or white noise generating machine that you might have. Okay, so let's talk about the case just a little bit here. Uh, there is no wireless charging on this, so uh, USB-C, you got to plug in there. This is your Bluetooth uh, reset button there, and this is the three LED lights here, uh, one for each bud and then one for the case. And the thing that's different about this is that it opens, uh, it slides open, which is kind of cool. And this is uh, definitely not going to slide by itself. It doesn't open up on its own, and the buds will stay in there pretty well. The magnets are pretty good, so it's not going to pop out. Uh, the only issue with this is if you're going to try to put the buds in at night, it's a little hard to rotate it the right way. You know, if you're trying to open it up this way, you know, you got to line it up and, you know, I, I usually just kind of feel for the USB-C port here, then I could slide it open, but otherwise it might be a little tough to open. So when I got the buds, all I needed to do was open up the case and it automatically uh, paired with the phone, but I already had the Soundcore app downloaded. If you don't, on the back of the instruction guide here, you just scan this code here, and then you get this, which is the user guide. And this goes in, you know, the fitting and, you know, the specs and all that kind of stuff. But then also if you just find this little spot right here, and it says download the app, just click on that and you'll download Soundcore. Or you could just go to the Google app or Apple uh, app store and, you know, type in Soundcore. But this will just make sure you got the right uh, app that you need.
So let's talk about the features. Uh, there's a four point noise masking system. So let's go into that. There's a couple of different aspects of that. The first one is the twin sealed earbuds. For me, the buds fit very securely and you know, I actually had to pull them out in the morning. So very good fit in there and recessed very deeply in the ears. So again, we're very comfortable even if you are a side sleeper. There's also the sound masking. Uh, these buds produce masking sounds. Soundcore does have two dedicated uh, snore canceling uh, white noise sounds. Supposedly, this blocks out the low, mid, and high frequencies of snoring, but I didn't notice that much of a difference between this and the other background uh, noises that are available. There's a whole bunch of them available, and I'll show you what those are in a moment. There's also the smart volume control. The smart volume works with your phone mic in real time. So if the ambient noise of the room is increased, then the noise in the buds uh, increases. Now for me, I did notice some change with this, but I didn't notice all that much. And it's not like it's gonna get that much louder, which is probably good because if it got uh, louder very quickly, that would probably wake you up. So there is some limitations to it. And remember, there is no active noise cancellation with this. It's basically more of a masking sound. So this is the Z Fold 5, but I'm showing you on the front screen here because if I open up the phone to the big screen, the app is not 100% customized perfectly for it. So it just shows up better here. And I'm just showing you these are the presets and these are everything that you get for the noises. Uh, there's definitely a few in there. And then if you go into here, the custom, so this is all the sound effects that are available. And then they're also broken down to categories. So if you're looking for masking, that's available. This is, you know, what's water. And you can see the different uh, ones that are available for water. Uh, this is nature. So there's definitely a lot of uh, different things uh, to listen to here. You know, meditation. There's also piano music that you can have uh, playing in the background. Now, these are all the sound effects that you could have, but you can actually combine up to three of these at the same time. So if you want, you could pick gray noise and you see it populates down there. Then I want to add the river to that. Then I want to add, uh, you know, green noise into that. And so this is what it is. Now you could change the volume on each of these, and then you could actually tune this, which is a little odd, because if you go to tune, you know, you could pick, you know, bright or brisk or soothing, but it doesn't really give you an example of what that actually is. So I don't know if that's all that helpful, but then you would actually just transfer it to the buds, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. The other great feature of these buds is that they're not just for pumping white noise uh, through the buds. You can actually play any music or any streaming service or any podcast or anything you have coming from your phone could be uh, broadcast right into the bud. Now, obviously, you lose a little bass uh, just because of the design, but I thought the music actually sounded very good. Good separation. It was clear, nice, full sound. Uh, definitely better than I expected. Now, in the podcast, I obviously sound perfect because it's very easy just to, you know, broadcast the voice. Based on the sound quality, I think you can actually use these buds as your primary buds. Uh, now, there are a few features that are missing that you might need for full-time use. I'll get into those uh, features in a minute. The other drawback is that I felt that the volume didn't get as loud as some other buds that I have, and I could actually tolerate uh, the volume at 100%, where I can't do that with some other buds. But again, these are mostly designed for sleeping, so the reduced volume is actually probably not that big of a drawback for most people, and it, they actually do get very loud. I think this makes it it's very flexible because it gives you a lot of different options. So while you're falling asleep, you could be listening to classical music or a podcast or anything else that you want broadcast through there. And then there's also a feature in the app that you could be listening to music or a podcast for a certain period of time, and then it could switch over to white noise, and it'll back play for the rest of the night or for a few hours. I'll show you how to set that up in the app. But let's talk about battery life now. In sleep mode, you get 14 hours of playback time and 80 hours with the case. Now sleep mode is basically just the white noises because the actual uh, noise that you set up will be downloaded to the buds and then you don't need a connection with your phone anymore. If you wanted to listen to uh, music or a podcast all night long, then you're going to be in Bluetooth mode and that gets you still a respectable 10 hours and 55 hours with the case. You could also charge one bud at a time, but there's no auto pause. So if you take it out of your ear, it's still gonna be playing unless you pause it or put it back in the case. Now you also get a personal sleep manager, which is actually very good. Uh, you get a bedtime reminder and a personal alarm. The bedtime reminder is actually just a little notification, so it's not very intrusive. So I found this was actually very helpful. So if you're watching a movie or you're doing something or reading or whatever, uh, it gives you a gentle reminder to tell you that, hey, it's time to wind down and get to bed. This is great for those people that, you know, stay up way too late because they get wrapped up in something and they kind of lose track of time. Then there's a personal alarm, which works better than a smartwatch because it's definitely louder enough and it's going to be waking you up, but it also will not uh, wake up your partner. So there's no audio chime or anything or a vibration that uh, the partner will hear. Now, supposedly the Sleep A20 or the uh, Soundcore A20 uses MEMS a sensor and real-time clock to track how you sleep. This monitor is when you roll over and your positions, your sleep stages, and your sleep duration. Now, how does this work? Um, how in the hell do I know how many times I roll over? Uh, you know, I thought, uh, how funny would it be if uh, Soundcore doesn't really have any sensors in there and they just kind of make up a number of how many times you roll over, and just make up what position you were in all night. Uh, but hopefully it doesn't do that. So I don't know if you really need the data of how many times you rolled over or your actual sleep position, but you know, that might be helpful for some people. 
So there is a little glitch in the sleep monitoring. You could see my sleep data here. It gives me my time. Uh, the goal, I could actually uh, set the goal and change that so that it will tell me if I made it or not. And then this is some of the data that's included here. So the glitch is, uh, this is where I took the buds out. I don't know, like 4.30 or, you know, whatever that time is that I woke up. And I just took them and I put them on the nightstand. And then I woke up or, you know, I think I got up and did something. Then I, maybe I went back to bed. I forget exactly for this night exactly what happened. But this happens on a couple of different nights. So then I do all this and then... At you know 8:30 or so, I put the buds back in the case, and then it registers me as actually being done with sleep. But it registers me as awake all this time. Which okay, yeah, I could see that you know I'm awake. But if you're using this for any kind of data monitoring or you know big picture patterns or stuff like that, you know you could see I was not awake for this period of time. And then also you could see here these numbers are going to be off as well. But then also it does give you. Uh, the good part of this is does give you the feature of the rollovers and, uh, you know, what position you are when you're sleeping. Again, I don't know what you would use that data for, but, you know, again, maybe big patterns. You can see what's going on. Or if you wake up with a sore shoulder on one side, you know why. I'm not sure. So, and also, I'm not sure about the accuracy of uh, the sleep tracking. You know, in general, it might be okay, but it's not as accurate as I would expect. Uh, this is a Samsung watch uh, that I was using. And the watch is probably more accurate because it does have your heart rate and, uh, you know, sometimes it does have a temperature sensor and things like that. So it's probably a little more accurate and you can see that, you know, the general pattern is kind of close there. Again, this has that little glitch where I took the buds out and just left them on the counter and then it registered me as, you know, awake, but it counts as my sleeping time there. So that's a little off. But then you can see here, the awake time is definitely different. Um, the REM, they don't have that on the uh, A20, but the deep sleep here is, uh, you know, 34 minutes. The deep is an hour, seven minutes on the sound core. And then uh, the light sleep is uh, five hours and 46 uh, minutes. And this one is four hours and 48 minutes. So you know, again, general pattern, it's, it's probably okay if you're looking for big picture and just looking for uh, general patterns of, you know, you went to bed early or stayed up late or if you were drinking the night before or did some exercise the day before and just see which is giving you a better sleep, that might be okay. But, you know, for the actual exact data, it probably is not there. So another great feature of the Buds is that they have a uh, Find My Buds alarm, which is a little soft and a little hard to hear. So you'd have to be kind of close to them to hear it. But it's actually a nice feature. And, you know, I'm thinking if you wake up and they kind of fell out and they're in the sheets or something like that, you should be able to find them pretty easily. So I covered some of the features in the app already, but I'm going to go into a little more detail here so you could just see what's available. And if you had any issues finding what you were looking for in here or how to adjust something, hopefully this helps. Not all the features of the app work when I open up the phone. So I'm just going to show you on the small screen here in the front. I apologize about that. But uh, everything is just laid out well here. And it's connected here. So we're going to just click on this if you have multiple apps on here. And we're going to go right into sounds. So now uh, this is my library. This is what I have. And to edit these, you really can't edit much. You just delete them and add a new one. So that's the only thing you would have uh, available to you for that. But if you go into sounds... Again, these are the ones that are the presets that are available. Then if we go into custom, you could add three of these together. So let me show you that. So if we add, you know, gray noise, you can see it pops up over here and orange noise and, uh, you know, then a river. And then you could actually play these and hear what they sound like in your buds. Then you could open it up and you could change the volume on each one of these, which is kind of great. Then you have the tune sounds here. So you can kind of move this around and, you know, see how it, the difference is. But I don't know if that's really all that helpful, uh, if you could really sell it tell them that much of a difference between the different uh, characteristics there. But then you would transfer this to my buds. And I didn't mention, but you actually have to be in the Bluetooth mode to do this, which is sort of counterintuitive for me. You'd think you'd have to be in sleep mode to set these things up, but you actually be, have to be in Bluetooth mode. And then, uh, then you could transfer this over to your uh, buds. Then you can call it, you know, whatever you want. And then now well, it says it takes like a minute to transfer here. And then as it transfers over there, then I'll have one more. And again, I can hold uh, four of these different preset sounds in my uh, phone. Okay, so now it's transferred. We're all done. Now, if you go to my noises, that's where it is in my library right here. But again, I'm in the Bluetooth mode, not the sleep mode, which again, which is what I would kind of think. And that's where I was uh, trying to figure this out in the beginning. But you need to be in Bluetooth mode for that. Then in this mode, again, there's three little uh, portions of this app here. So if you're in the sounds, uh, this little uh, icon here will just take you into if you have other sound core devices that you want to switch to, you can click on that. Then if you go into here, into settings, I'll go through these settings quickly uh, in a moment, but this is what's available. And I'll just show you here, if you go into the actual uh, Sleep A20 here, the main, I guess, page of it, if you go up here to the settings, they're the same thing. So let me just go through uh, this here, and then I'll go into the settings and show you what's available. But here, it'll show you the percentages. It doesn't show you the percentage of the case, which I kind of would have liked, but I know not everybody does that. This is the bedtime here. You just click on this, and you pick which bedtime you want. 
then the alarm you click here you can actually have multiple alarms which is kind of cool so you could have a monday to friday alarm then you could have the weekend alarm or you know whatever you want so you could change those but if you click on let's add an alarm so these are the four sounds that you get these are the days you can pick and the time obviously so now it's going to play uh, you can pick these four chimes and then as you uh, pick these it will start very softly and gradually get louder and louder as it just keeps going on and then hopefully eventually it'll wake you up and then you can shut it off so let's go into uh, playback settings because there's a couple of cool features uh, that they that these buds have that other buds uh, wouldn't have. So you can have it play until you fall asleep and you know, or for two and a half hours. So it can play like this, and you could change this time frame if you want, or you can have it play all night. Now with either of these features, you can have it smart switch so that after your time period is up or after you fall asleep, it will switch into your kind of the white noise or the background noise or whatever you have set up. And this is what you can pick. So these are the four things I have for my sounds that are already pre-installed on the uh, buds. And then it will play my audio book for an hour or whatever. I want. Right now it'll play for two and a half hours, but it will play that. And then it will go into this and it could go on all night or, you know, again, for two and a half hours or five hours or whatever it is. But it will switch. It will do a smart switch after I fall asleep, which is kind of a cool uh, feature, I think. And then let's go into uh, settings here. These settings are the same that settings that are available in the sound uh, settings right up here. So if we just go on to here, there's a couple of things we could do. The default mode could be Bluetooth or sleep. So if it's on sleep, which is actually pretty cool because then you just put the buds in your ear and it will start playing your, um, your white noises or your background noises that you have set. You don't have to touch anything. You don't have to play with your phone. Your phone could be you know off and on the charger. All you need to do is put the buds in your ear and then the noise will be playing, which is great. Or you could have it automatically set to Bluetooth and then whatever your phone is playing will go through the buds. So then you would have to set something up on your phone, obviously. Now we got the controls. We have a double tap here and the three times tap. There is no press and hold or a single press because you don't want it to accidentally be uh, pressed and activated during the night, right? So if we go into double tap, these are the options that you have and you could actually click none for some reason if you're having a problem and it is switching, uh, but you could switch modes from Bluetooth uh, to noise. So you could be, uh, you know, listening to your video or your music, or whatever. And then as you start dozing off, you could just double tap your bud and then it'll switch over to your background noise again, which is kind of cool, I think. Now, if you go into the right side, same uh, features here, same exact thing. So you can pick whichever one is important to you there. So as I was editing the video, I noticed that I've got a very important setting. I don't know how I missed this. We could be either in the sounds or the A20 main page of the app. And we just go into uh, settings here. So I told you that the music sounded pretty good on the A20. Well, you even get an EQ, so you can't beat that. Just go into settings, into the sound effects here. And then we could do a custom EQ. And you could pick whatever you want, and then you could just go ahead and save it if you want and call it, you know, whatever you want. Or you can go into the uh, default, and you got all these different preset equalizers, which is kind of great. And again, the custom, like I said, look how granular this is. Uh, some only give you like three, uh, you know, just the bass, the mids, and the treble. This one gives you, you know, eight on here, so that, that's pretty good. Now, I also just want to show you, though, it might have an issue or if you have a problem getting into the EQs. If you go into here, I'm in Bluetooth mode, as you can see here. But if I am in sleep mode on this, it kind of changes the function of the app. And then I go into settings, and now sound effects is blocked out. So uh, if that happens to you, uh, that's the reason. You just have to change it into Bluetooth mode, and then it will turn back on. And uh, if you don't believe me, I'll just go ahead and do it now, do it settings, and there it is. Let's see what else I have to say about the A20 Buds. Now we have to find the device. Again, this works uh, fairly good. It's just the, the device is not so loud. And if you click on one of these, it says, hey, make sure this is out of your ear because it's going to, uh, you know, produce a loud noise. It's not that loud, but, you know, it definitely should not be in your ear when they uh, when you do it. Then you get a prompt tone here. Now these, uh, you again, you could just turn these on and off. The only one I'd probably keep off is the low battery because if you do have the buds in your ear and you haven't charged them for a little bit and they, you know, start dying, you don't want to be hearing a prompt in the middle of the night to uh, wake you up. Then there's this widget. This just shows you how to get a widget, uh, that, which is basically how you get any other widget. Uh, I'll show you what the widget looks like in a minute, but this is just instructions on how to uh, use your phone to get the widget out. And then you could just change the name of your device if you want, and you could update the firmware to see if there's any updates on it. So that covers this whole section and the settings in both of those. And then this is our sleep data. Now, this was a little weird in that today is the uh, 27th, but it doesn't show any of my dates on there. So basically, I have to hit my calendar, and then it will show me all the days, and then I could pick which day I want information on. So if you want uh, to look for a specific date uh, to get the sleep data, you just hit here. It pulls up a calendar. And then if you click on this, it just gives you the features here that uh, you could, uh, you know, get a reminder just so you can sync the data. And then you could change your sleep goal here, you know, 7 hours, 10 hours, you know, whatever you want to do. 
Uh, not that it's that big of a deal, but then the app will tell you if you reached your goal or not. Then sleep calibration, uh, this just shows you you got to stand up and just stand for still for a minute. It will recalibrate for you. Okay, so uh, to get into the Soundcore widget, it's just like adding any other widget. You just hold the screen here, and then you hit widgets. Then you just type in a search for a Soundcore here. And there is only one widget, as you can see here. There's only one to pick from, so that's what it is. This is what it looks like when it's added. Uh, not too much you could do with this. Uh, it does give you percentages on the buds, and then uh, you could turn your sleep mode on and off. Uh, I think if you turn it off, I don't think it gets anything done. But if you turn it on, then you could pick the sleep noise that you want to listen to. So actually, the widget is not that helpful at this point. As of now, the widget doesn't do too much, but that might change in the future, and that's how you get it, and you can check on it and see if they uh, added anything to it. But as of now, it doesn't do too much. And the only other thing, putting these in the case is sometimes a little uh, hard. It's not so intuitive, you know, which is the left and the right. And, uh, you know, I just kind of look for the magnets and then you drop it in there. And these are not going to pop out at all. But sometimes if you have both of them out, just figuring out which one goes where, it, it takes a little bit of an adjustment on that. So what features are missing on these? Even though these buds claim to mask snoring, or remember, there's no active noise cancellation. So they're masking the snoring with great passive noise cancellation with the two uh, tips on here and they have basically masking noises. So they just have volume going in your ears louder than the background noise, hopefully. It is an IPX4 rating, so uh, higher end buds have better protection, but IPX4 I think is just fine. This, this recovered definitely from any kind of sweat or splashing of water, but just be careful when you're cleaning these, they cannot be submerged at all. One feature that some people might be missing is that there is no mic on these, so you cannot make and take phone calls. The other big missing feature that some people might have an issue with is there is no conversation or ambient noise mode. So again, if you're using this just for sleeping, that's not a big issue. But if you wanted to use these for running or use these in office or use them as your full-time buds, then it might be too much passive noise cancellation and you know, you're not aware of what's going on around you. Those two features, the missing mic and the lack of the ambient noise, that's probably the two big reasons why some people may not be able to use these as their full-time buds. But again, they're very comfortable, they fit in the ear very good, and you know, I think they sound very good. So if you are okay without the mic and the ambient noise, then I think you could use these as full-time buds. Now, what about the price? I didn't even get into that. The uh, price is $149 in the United States, and that's okay, but maybe a little expensive. I think it's okay because there really is no great alternatives to these. So if you need something and you need uh, some sleep masking and you're having issues getting to sleep, these work great. And these are, there's not too many alternatives as of uh, the time of this video. Uh, these also, again, will take the place of a sound machine, which is great. And also traveling with these, you know, is really nice. Let me sum this up and talk about the uh, the pros on these. Uh, the Buds actually have a lot of extra features on here that help you sleep better. Uh, they have a flat, uh, comfortable fit. Uh, you, even if you're a slide sleeper, you should be able to wear these. There's a great selection of white noise and background noises that you can use. You could also use these buds for regular buds and listen to music or podcasts uh, you know, throughout the day. The passive noise cancellation is very good, I thought. And they also do give you some sleep tracking information that other wearables don't include, like how many times you rolled over and your preferred sleeping position. You could also use these with both Android and Apple devices. So let's talk about some cons, because as you know in my videos, there's always some cons. So again, it's missing the mic and the ambient noise uh, pass-through sound or the conversation mode. The other kind is the sound core, uh, what they label as their uh, snoring background cancellation noise that's supposed to mask the uh, snoring noises. I didn't think they were that effective. Um, you know, the other white noises I thought uh, probably just as good. You can let me know what you thought about it in the comments. So uh, the other issue is if you have uh, these on and you wear them through the night and you have the volume up pretty loud, there is a possibility you may not, you might miss like an emergency, like an intruder or a fire alarm or something like that. So just keep that in mind. Uh, but otherwise, I didn't really have any big cons on this thing. So let me talk about uh, my recommendations. So again, these are for anyone who has issues falling asleep or staying asleep through the night because of uh, surrounding noises, whether it be a, part, a snoring partner or a noisy neighbor or road noise. Uh, these will mask all those uh, very well. Maybe you don't have any issues at night, but these are also great if you need to take a nap during the day and there's a lot of activity around you. These are also great if you work the night shift and you need to sleep during the day. This will definitely block out all those noises. Let me know what your experience is with these and uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.